The hierarchy of organization in biology looks like this. Ready? Starting with the very, very smallest thing that we can possibly study in biology. We have... Atoms. I can barely read that because my screen's blown up big. If I take more than one atom and I put them together, I build a molecule. Somebody done this with you before? So more than one atom holding hands with another atom, we call that a molecule. Right now you're breathing oxygen molecules. It's two oxygen atoms stuck together. O2. Actually, most of what you're breathing is N2, nitrogen, but your body doesn't use it for anything. It just goes in and comes right back out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would write this down. You're going to need to know it. Atoms make up molecules. Are atoms alive? No. no, atoms are not alive. We're going to talk about why they're not alive here on Monday. Atoms are not alive, but you can take atoms, you can stick them together and make molecules. If I stick molecules together... If I stick them together in the right configuration, I can make cells. Ooh, important thing. Somebody over there, I heard elements. Elements? Okay. I want you to know something. The word atom, uh, for all practical purposes, when you hear the word element, they're talking about one single atom. Okay, so like if I say the element gold, I'm talking about one atom of gold. Atom and element, link those two words together in your brain. They don't mean exactly the same thing, technically, but for all practical purposes in the class, let's do that, okay? If I say element, I mean atom. If I say atom, I mean element. They're the same darn word, okay? If I say compound, I mean molecule. Again, there's a slight difference between the two definitions. They'll get into it when you get to chemistry. I don't really care. It just makes it confusing. So when I say compound, I mean molecule. When I say element, I mean atom. Forever on, memorize it. It won't be the last time we go over that. You know. All right, so I take molecules. I put them together in the right configuration. I can get to cells. Cells. Um, important thing to know about cells. Right here, molecules. More than one atom stuck together. Are they alive? No. no. Um, cells. Cells are alive. They're our first level where things could be considered living. So I might make a little side note of that in your, uh, in your drawing there, that um, cells, cells are alive. So cells are alive. If I take more than one cell and put them together, I do get a tissue. Put more than one cell together, I get a tissue. Uh, let's see here. I can make tissues. I'll put those together to build my... Yep. I put organs together. Organ I can get organ systems. Organ systems, if I take like my circulatory system and my, uh, my nervous system and my blood and my skin and my bones and my muscular system, I put all my systems together, I've built one organism. That just means one whole living thing. All right. 
<laughs> yeah, we could do even more in biology. If I want to get bigger than that, more than one of the same type of organism, I call that a population. If I put all the populations in an area together, I'm running out of room. I get a community. And if I put communities together with their non-living surroundings, I study the big end of biology that we will study at the very end of the year. I'll write an even longer word that won't fit. T E <laughs> and I spelled it wrong. No, I didn't. Are we happy? Hierarchy of organization? Everybody's content? The end. <laughs>